All my life I've looked up to women like Michelle Obama. She's from Chicago and now she's giving back to the community. So I just really love that she's involved with our program. My name is Shatina Edwards, and I am the founder and CEO of Manage Emotions Avoid Negativity, affectionately known as Mean Girls Empowerment. I started this organization because I wanted to build a girl-friendly network. Growing up as a young child, I was bullied, and it affected me in so many ways. I dealt with depression, low self-esteem, even having thoughts of suicide. And so I didn't want another girl to feel the way I felt, a girl through what I went through. I wanted to get involved with Mean Girls Empowerment so I could work on my own self-esteem. Before I joined the program, I was shy and like reserved, but once I joined Mean Girls, I was able to open up and learn how to express myself. It's really good for networking and it's really like a sisterhood. So if I ever need anything, I know I can talk to Ms. Shatina, my mentor, Ms. Nikisha, and you know, just the friendships I've made, I just love it. Like It's really like a second family. The Girls Health Matters Resource Mobile Unit gives us additional bandwidth to go out to the community, essentially providing a pop-up and giving them health resources where they're at. People need to know what MGE is doing in the community. And so thank you to the Girls Opportunity Alliance for funding this wonderful band that allows us to travel throughout our communities to bring more awareness to Girls Health. The resource van is passing out health resource boxes. We understand that things like hydration and sleep are important. Energy and electrolytes, journaling. We know what you write, you can achieve. It's just unbelievable to know that Mean Girls Empowerment is recognized by Michelle Obama and the Girls Opportunity Alliance. It means the most to me that our work is not unseen in the community. One thing I'll take away from Mean Girls is always be your authentic self when it comes to mental health. If you need help, always reach out to people. It's always resources there to help you. You never have to suffer in silence. You don't have to worry about people judging you for what you do as long as you're being true to yourself. You're worthy and people are going to value and listen to what you have to say.